Hey, what's up, my little goofballs? Let's get ready to just, we'll just jump right in here in a moment. <clears throat> Make sure everything's good to go. What's up, Primal? Toxica? Planet Pipcam? Oh, I don't know. It was uh, concept art from Mercer Zoo. that I found earlier this morning and I'm like, dang, we're, we're getting ready to start like, like a glacier ridge, polar bear, maybe, you know, penguin type area. I'm like, let's just start with that. Okay. Um, no, I haven't had my weekly shower yet. Uh, that will be following this stream. <laughs> hey, what's up, Cybers? Check this out, guys. I removed the old Eagle Sanctuary and I put in... Here's Big Brody and his girlfriend... I put in a surgery center, but look, I put like a little, uh, like a little seating area over here and we've got like a little turtle pond outside. And I was looking around on the workshop like uh, Thursday evening and I just could not look, you could, they can even look at the wolves from like the, the backside of the seating area. I was looking around on the workshop and just nothing looked uh, Lost Creek-ish. Like nothing really looked rustic, you know, like just, I just couldn't find like the style of vet center that I needed. And what spurred it all on was actually her. <laughs> the veterinarian came and took her, but I noticed that he was running with her from the, like he would run all the way out here to the entrance and then carry her. And I'd be like, well, Okay, maybe he's going to take her to, you know, over here. And I'm like, well, no, I don't have any vet centers over there. And then he came running down through here. He went down through the petting zoo, back up into the African area, and kind of was acting like he was going to run back here. And I'm like, well, I don't have any, I don't have any veterinary spots over here either. And then literally I watched him turn around and I followed him all the way back to the entrance of the park. So I'm like, I don't think I ever put in a vet center. And so that's when, that's like took up like three hours, two and a half hours of my Thursday, um, getting this vet center, this surgery center uh, built. And as soon as I got that built and got it plopped and got all of the old decorations removed, they took her right in there and uh, now she's back. So he was running around and there was nowhere to put her. <laughs> and I couldn't find a good one on the workshop. So I'm like, well, let's just sit down. And if you guys go to the workshop right now and just search for S. Dan Wolf, this is what it will look like when you grab it up. I actually built it literally right here in this vacant, this vacant uh, exhibit. <laughs> but I think it came out pretty cool. Like I said, if you've got the little seating area out here, we've got the turtle pond, got the little truck and like the transport truck in the back. But yeah, this is where they bring the little critters that need to have some procedures done. So that kind of took up my Thursday. Hey, what's up, Silver Fox? All right, before we really get started. Um, Toxica wants us to do a little bit of a tour, little overview. So this is Lost Creek Zoo. Started it a, a while ago. Kind of been just kind of been, it's been one of my tinkering projects. You know, we've kind of jumped back and forth to other things and one-off little builds, but Lost Creek has kind of been one of our main uh, projects for the longest while. 
and uh, I, we just we've just had a ton of fun with it. It's went through a lot of changes, especially the entrance. This is what we did. I think we streamed on Wednesday night. I want to say we put in a brand new uh, American Beaver exhibit. So they've uh, this took over. This was a this was a giant river otter exhibit, and we brought that in. Moved a bunch of the trees back, extended this out into the path so we could watch just like this little guy's doing. So the people could stand here and kind of watch them make this curve and back up in to their little... Oh, there's one up in there. <laughs> there he is. A couple of them up in there. So yeah, we just thought this would be cool to let the people kind of watch them make this bow and this like little swim. And then over here on the other side... This used to be uh, just our aardvark exhibit, but we decided to just turn it into just a pretty little waterfall entrance. We may end up putting something small in there, maybe even eventually put the, put the aardvarks back, but that's just, we just thought it looked cool just to kind of have a, just a, a little set of waterfalls, like right as you're making your way um, into the zoo. I probably, I'm probably going to change this out at some point because this is kind of, it's okay-ish but it's just kind of underwhelming me right now. Um, of course, we added our first food truck when you uh, when we first got the, uh, the European pack. And uh, hey, what's up, Destiny? Thanks for stopping by. Um, this is our little guest services building. Got some restrooms. And this was actually, um, this was all an implied crane exhibit. Like I really wish Planet Zoo would give us, would give us cranes. And birds, you know, wouldn't that be awesome to just have some ambient, like just a, a couple little pairs of cranes, like walking around in here? I think, I think Leaf, I think we can do that modded, but I mean like actually supported cranes walking around. Uh, got us a little set of restrooms. Then of course, one of the stars of the early part of the zoo, uh, Big Brody is in here. Massive, massive uh, grizzly bear. And his little girlfriend. <laughs> We just added. Hey, thanks, Dakota. And when you... This is like really the first main little restaurant you come up to. This is Wild Burger. So, you know, hot dogs, burgers, you know, maybe grilled chicken salads. Nothing really major, you know, like major, major restaurant-wise, but enough to jump in and just, you know, grab you a bite to eat when you... when it gets lunchtime or when you're first getting started. Got some outdoor seating up here, which we have not turned this. I want to uh, eventually turn this into a real restaurant um, now that we have those now. So I think we'll we'll mess with that eventually, actually um, making that functional. Um, then when you come up here, if you peer off to your left, we've got the Wolf Den. So this is our little pack out here. Still pretty popular. One of the oldest exhibits in the zoo but still, like, there are a good bit of people usually are still lined up right here watching, so. And the, uh, the back side of their little exhibit, you can actually come over here, plus where their little plaques are, Coda, Drax, Luna, Little Jim, and Tahoe, and you can get really, really up close with them um, if they're kind of over here messing around. They, they, they make their way over here from time to time, so the guests can get a pretty good view of the pack. I, I don't know if all five of them, one, two, three, four, I'm not sure if all five of them are in there right now. One of them may be in the vet, but that's really, really cool. One of our first habitats. Then once you make your way past Wild Burger, we've, um, to your right, we've got Gator Trail, and this is just kind of like an Everglades, you know, um, kind of like overhead view of the, uh, of our little gator pond. So they're kind of, they're just all over the place. You can Really get good views of them. Down here in the water, love, love, love that we actually have gators now. I use Leaf and Nick's uh, gator mod for the longest while, but then remember, I, I don't remember, I think that was not an, a, uh, I think it was a replacement mod for, here's our big, big guy. I think it was a replacement mod for the crocodiles back when I used it. Hey, little baby. Hey, what's up, Savannah? Taking a quick break from work to stop in and say, Hi. Oh, Savannah and Drew and I, I think Zoof, he may be asleep, but 
later on this evening, we may be recording a new episode that'll drop on Drew's channel of Pine Mountain Sanctuary. I think all three of us may jump on and do a voiceover with Drew and kind of see what he's done and maybe try to uh, jump back into that. So yeah, this is the Gator Trail. And we got one little branch off that kind of goes over that way, kind of towards their their sunning beach or their their basking beach. Um, this is one of the new. This is one of the newer areas of the zoo, uh, Lost Creek Ranch, and it has a petting zoo. Which we don't actually. I don't have any of the sheep or anything in here right now because if you guys were around a couple months ago. These were, uh, these were all modded animals. Remember, I had the, the Suffolk sheep. I had the donkey. Um, so I, I got rid of those mods um, maybe a pack or two ago, like kind of waiting for them to be updated. And remember, I had my little piglets up here. So this is the Lost Creek Ranch area. Just think of it as, you know, like the little kid, um, the petting zoo area. We've got the little... Uh, We've got the little hand washing station down here. Really, really important. I'm freezing my butt off at work today. I actually had to scrape ice off my windshield this morning in order to get here. Oh my gosh, I bet you all are having a freaking meltdown. <laughs> it usually does not get that cold. You know, it's not that cold here, but it is so just dreary and rainy. It's like a perfect stream nap day. Like, as soon as I get this stream done, I think I'm going to take a shower, get cozied up with pumpkin, and because Casey, she's now, Casey's back still at her mom and dad's house. She's helping them um, get new stuff put away and pick up from our little, like, camp out we had there last night. So, her and Emma are still at my in-law's house hanging out with them uh, in their jammies, and so I think when we get this finished, I might... Uh, kick back myself a little bit. I was thinking about, for some reason, it's in my head to like watch National Treasure. Like I need a good cheesy Nicolas Cage, like rainy Saturday movie. So I think that's what I'm going to do when we, uh, when we get our work done here. Um, this out through here, we've not made any decisions about it yet, but I was thinking, yeah, pass this blanket to Savannah. Yeah, she needs it. Um, I was thinking, you know, we could maybe do some fallow deer out through here because, I mean, look at it. We've got the, the Miss Gibson uh, girl ice cream parlor. I found this really cool, like, um, almost like European alley type uh, blueprint on the workshop. And I was thinking, um, why not do like some, maybe some European stuff down through there to get like a badger habitat. Like I said, maybe do a fallow deer habitat on the side of our new mountain. You know, I think, I think that could work out cool. Um, what else do we need to show you guys? Uh, moving back this way, kind of once you make your way past the, the donkeys and the cows and the pigs. Hey, what's up, Marble? This is when you kind of make your way What's up, Gek? This is when you kind of make your way uh, to the African area. We've got this lovely, lovely statue found on the workshop. I am just, I just adore that statue. That is by, um, what is it? It's, it's like a uh, haunted, haunted, haunted Rabel. I can't, I can't, I don't remember the, let me see if I can get the exact name, make sure we give a proper shout out. But I found this on the workshop a couple weeks ago and I am in love with it. It is Residual Haunts. Residual Haunts Lion Statue. Absolute daddy. It just, I mean, it just like changed the whole like presence of this African area. Like, it is so boss. Um, well, anyways, Toxica, when you come in to the African area, you're introduced right to your right by the meerkat exhibit. So they're digging, they're, they're mad, they're mad digging over here, popping up out of the little holes. Um, then, of course, we've got some little gift shops. We've got a little Just a Momento. 
And um, the first larger animals you come to are Val and Earl. There are southern white rhinos. You come under this little archway. And there they are, <laughs> Val and Earl, usually laying around playing in the mud or just laying around. <laughs> They're buddies. Hey, what's up, Emma? Sylvia, Vark Tech. <laughs> I just, you know, it's funny you say that. I just got a Vark Tech uh, comment just like a couple days ago. <laughs> Actually, it might have been a couple. I think one of my, okay, I just put out a Dollywood walkthrough video that I broke down, like from a 50 minute video, and I had a Vark Tech comment. <laughs> I was like, damn. Poison Blade says, funny, I'm working on my deer habitat right now. That's cool. Where are you working on it in? Eve, we've got your little tortoises here. Really, really fun. Man, that mountain just makes this look so much better now. It's like such dimension now. Um, then when you come up through here, we kind of have our little, kind of have a little bit of a hoof yard here. We've got our zebra. And uh, I've got one, two, three. I thought I had a few. More. I've, I've got a few gazelle over there. So that's kind of their little... Their little prancing yard here. Then we've got some just uh, kind of like just little, this little kind of scenery popping off. No real function to these, but I just love that that guest house from Animal Kingdom got that built as well as the Pizza Fari, which I'll turn into a real restaurant as well, just like uh, Wild Burger. Um, then if you guys remember, we still, oh yeah, Gek, I didn't tell you. I really like that idea. We will definitely get an Australia section. That was a good idea. Lost Creek has no Australian representation at all. So really, really good idea. Hey, thanks, Destiny. What's up, Argzu? When you come around through here against... Silver Fox's legal judgment, we did take out the Tree of Life just because we were thinking, and I think Silver Fox conceded this, the Tree of Life looked great, don't get me wrong, but, and I'll show you, but with what we're doing with Lost Creek, it just was a little too hyper fantasy. Oh, that's the that's the blueprint. That's a that's another one I downloaded. Where's my tree of life? Didn't I call it that? Let's see. It was just a little too. It's just too big, too too hyper. No, don't don't get me wrong. You guys know I love, uh, I love hyper fantasy. But this is just, even for, even for S-Dan, this is just a little too much over here. Like it, see how it, you know, it kind of just takes up the, it, it kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of loses the, the intimacy of, the, of Lost Creek. How, like, see how it just, it has a really, really fun little profile here, like being nestled in these mountains now. And that tree, your eye immediately trains to it. Like you, you, you seriously overlook everything and you're, bam, you're right on this massive tree that doesn't really have a story here. It's just, we plopped it there, <laughs> you know? I'm already in my pajamas getting ready for the evening. Oh yeah, so Emma, so we're Emma. It's so we're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So like the UK, the Netherlands, where Poison Blade is plotting on people at, um, you're probably going on six o'clock, aren't you? Well, see, that's why these that's why these Saturday streams are so fun. I'm not trying to catch you guys at midnight. <laughs> you're still uh, not quite ready for bed yet. <laughs> um, but oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Cody, uh, the, what's going to take its place is like a, a, one of my African market blueprints. I'm going to get in here and we're going to do some path work and uh, we are going to really fix up like a, a marketplace right in the middle of where the, uh, 
of where the tree was, kind of over here to the side of BZ's uh, gorilla habitat that he made me a couple months ago. So yeah, that is what is gonna take the tree's place. A lot of, lot of retail. And then of course we cannot leave out the insane, the insanely incredible job Wyatt Workshop did for me with Land of the Lion. I just freaking love this place. He's got a bunch of little, bunch of little Easter eggs in here. Trader S. Dan's, Goran, Go Goran Gosa Safari Trek, Frank Archer's Hardware, Ruler Scales Measuring Tape, Always on Target, Yomantis Travel, Elephant Poo Poo Paper, Ricey's Royal Calligraphy Shop, Zekin's Architecture. You know, I haven't heard from Zekin in forever. I wonder, like, has Zeke, did he stop creating content for a while or did he just back off or have to go, is he like in, in class or something? Like, I literally have not seen any tweets or anything from him in a while. Um, there's Eben's Bulldozing and Demolition, Crocs, Feeding and Tours, Keep Your Eye on the Wild, Romano P's, Nature Photography, Twin Palms Oasis. And then he just did a killer job with the posters in here, with these South African posters. Like, we haven't even seen, we haven't even seen what, what Wyatt is going to be capable of with the Europe, look, Rubles Rubies, Orwell's Bike Shop, what Wyatt's going to be capable of with the European pack. I've not seen him uh, mention anything yet about it or, or um, give us any, like, any little teasers. But this is the, the lion habitat back here, guys. Hey, thanks, Carlisle. Yeah, Lost Creek is, it's getting there. We're making some progress. Um, and then, of course, I took you guys the African way. But if you come past Big Brody and the new surgery center, any of you guys just jumping in, I just put this on the workshop uh, yesterday afternoon. So go pick that up. Almost 100 people have downloaded. Well, I checked earlier this morning and almost 100 people have already downloaded this. So jump on there and grab that if you're needing a surgery center. Um, but if you keep coming past Big Brody, we uh, last time on stream, we brought in the Beaver Brothers uh, restaurant. Really, really fun, fun blueprint. One of my favorite blueprints I think I've ever put together in this game. So that has a place in Lost Creek now. And if you also came up through here, remember this used to be Black Bear Ridge. We changed it. And we put the Ibex in here and it's really, really like we've got a really awesome, like it's framed in here. Really, really cool. I think like we've got their, um, we've got their enrichment item in here. Really fun to watch them climb up on that. And it just, it, I mean, the bears were cool, but these guys just steal the show over here. Such a, it's such a vibrant little exhibit now with so much going on because these guys they rest a little bit but for the like they're a lot more active than the bears are like these guys they're all over the place climbing jumping running so for right now went ahead and switched the bears out which you know it's lost creek so it's it'll be easy to fit in black bears somewhere but i just thought this was uh this was just overly too cool to uh to leave that um, kind of leave that habitat vacant, um, brought in a little pirate ship or kind of not, not a pirate ship, but like a river boat. Cause you know, in the theme of Lost Creek brought in a little river boat playground, found that on the workshop. And, uh, remember I built uh, lumberjack's pizza for Drew and Zoof and simply Savannah, but I kind of jacked it from Pine Mountain Sanctuary and brought it over here as well. Um, so you can kind of, kind of got like a little quick service pizza joint. Um, over here, this is like one of the, this is like a, I got into an abandoned zoo kick. So this is like, I was thinking this could just be like an old um, abandoned section of the zoo that they don't use anymore. 
So we've kind of got it all fenced off and nobody can really go back there. Um, this have not decided what we'll put up here yet, but it will eventually uh, kind of connect with the back half of the African area. And I think that's it, guys. I don't, I don't think we've missed anything. This is, like you guys said, we're going to be starting uh, Glacier Ridge right over there in one momento. So, let me just see if there's anything else we have not touched on. Why it even did me an awesome, awesome little backstage area. With the little night house. Look, they can even like put the little cross bridge in here. So they can get in and get in and out. Oh, Zekin just posted on YouTube. He just started university. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I just hadn't heard anything from a, or for a while. But anyways, um kind of deciding on if I need to get rid of that. I think we need to get rid of the bridge as well. Oh yeah, music. Squirrel. Hold on. I'm having a poison blade moment. Let me get you guys some music going. Let me pull this up. There we go. Good thinking, Gek. G Rex the Gecko. Okay. We'll use this little bridge at some point, but it's kind of impeding my little vision for this area right now. RIP Bridge. Oh my gosh, Silver Fox, maybe that, maybe that, what, what's her name, wasn't joking around. There's another Vastech comment. <laughs> the the Vastech is a, uh, it's like a bot YouTube comment. Are they coming into lives now? <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Are the cougars in Lost Creek? They're not yet marble. Yes, uh, Silver Fox, go ahead and just uh, ban Sophia. It's just, yeah, it's it's a bot. <laughs> that that vast tech comment. We get those on YouTube videos. Normally they filter them out though. But uh, no marble. We I I removed the. Uh, I removed the cougars in place of the lynx for right now, but the cougars are definitely going to be coming back. 
I didn't show, good thinking. I did not show you all that. We've got the links in there. So the lynx took over the cougar habitat, but the cougars will definitely be coming back. So see, I think once we get around this corner, we will bend this and then we'll do like the, we'll do like the, the bigger glacier ridge entrance. <laughs> Kitty cat. You know, I could do, we could do some kind of archway back in here as well. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Harry? Is no one going to talk about how cool those egg props are? Those are pretty cool. They're tiny. Yeah, the packs are running kind of kind of low to get us birds in, you know? I mean, just as the game ages and each pack comes out, you kind of 
it's kind of leaving you wondering, isn't it? Like, okay, is our birds gonna be next? Or are birds just never going to happen? Is that just not in our cards for this game? Like, you know, is the tech not there? Is it, is it game break? Like, have they tried to add birds? But it's like game breaking? You know, it's kind of one of those deals, like, Is there gonna be polar bears in there? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Trying to... Where in the world is that one, that really, really cool penguin sign? Is it the Africa pack, maybe? <laughs> Steve's return. Hey, what's up, Ollie? There we go. High amounts of litter. I gotta get some more, some more cleanup in here.
that how you spell glacier? G-L-A-C-I-E-R? Glacia. See if we can get some lettering support up here. If we can make it look, if we can make it look good, look cool. Actually, if we do this, we may be able to change the lettering back to white. Or we could just leave it like that. Hey, what's up, Brittany? Still do some cool, like, support work.
You know what we need? I wonder. We need some snow while we build here. At least some snow coverage. Got to get us in the snow mood here. There we go. So you got to figure this is going to house a pretty good bit of animals out here, you know? None of these people have their coats on. <laughs> oh, look at the snow. Looks cool up on the mountains. What's up, buddy? No, you didn't miss much. We did a tour of the zoo. And uh, now we're just starting Glacier Ridge. We're going to do some penguins and some polar bears. We get, we'll just, we're, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Hey, thanks, Matt. Merry Christmas, buddy. And I like the rock when the rock work like comes right up to the edge of the path. <laughs> Penguins or parakeets?
Well, what have you all actually been getting into today? I got like a, I noticed when I logged into Steam when I got home, I've got a, I know a bunch of y'all are actually playing Planet Zoo right now. I can hardly ever do that. Like when I'm watching your all's streams, I'm usually like either like on lunch at work or like on the road or just not, you know, like not in a position to just play and listen. But I do like doing that when I get when I get the chance. You reckon when Frontier finally puts in aviaries, copybara, leopard species, gift shops, and fix the climbing mechanic, Planet Zoo will be a true successor to Zoo Tycoon 2? Definitely. I know I've sunk quite a many hours into Planet Zoo. If I look right now on Steam, let me see what my playtime is. Uh, 3,023 hours I put into this. I may say I'm playing on Discord, but it's just running in my computer. I <laughs> babysit the kids. Man, Lost Creek looks pretty cool in the snow, doesn't it? I'll have to do a snow cinematic. I think, I don't know if we've ever turned on snow here. Rookie numbers. <laughs> I've not actually played Planet Zoo for so long. Not bought the DLC yet either. Had a busy week this week. Claire's waiting for that Planet Coaster 2. You know, I'm getting kind of a little, uh, kind of getting a little nervous for not hearing anything about Park Beyond hardly any, ever, ever anymore. It's like they only tweet like once a month now. Maybe, I mean, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe they're, you know, hard at work and they don't, you know, they don't have time to run their mouths on social media, which I would, you know, I would get, but I kind of wish they would tell us that. Like, we know we've been quiet, but rest assured the game's still happening. We're just taking our time and we're getting a build ready for 2022. Yeah, I was like that for like a month, Jamie. I, like all of October, I just was like, I did not even feel like touching this. Remember too, I even gave up on, like I told Savannah and them when I built the, uh, when I built the beaver exhibit for Pine Mountain Sanctuary, I'm like, I'm just, this is it guys. Like I'm kind of done. Hel it's, it's not that I'm done helping you. It's I'm just done with Planet Zoo done. So, you know, go ahead and, you know, plan on this being my last kind of hurrah with Pine Mountain. But, you know, now we're, like I said, we're talking about doing a, a, uh, a video this evening of it. So I just, you know, you just kind of fall in and out of these things, you know, especially these type of games. You know, just don't force it. 
So it, it, it may hit you again one day and you'll be like, oh my God, look at this. Look at this concept art I just saw on Pinterest of this mountain lion habitat. Let me go try that real quick. And then like, you know, four hours later, you're putting the finishing touches on your mountain lion exhibit. So, you know, these games, they just kind of come in spurts. But um, am I back in it? Yes. Like I am, uh, for right now at least, I mean, what is it? It's December 18th. I'm just, you know, I'm just rolling. I'm back in Planet Zoo mode. I got the little thing on YouTube a couple days ago. It said, um, your views are up 25% from a month ago. This is due to you actually upload content again. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Find more Planet Zoo streamers that I enjoy. I like your streams. I like Savannah's, but her streams are always at a time I'm not available. It's just not the same as VOD. Yeah, streaming's kind of tough, especially to find ones that consistently play the games you like and, you know, fit your vibe. Streaming is a, it's an interesting, an interesting monster. Drew got me into streaming, like October of last year, I believe. He just told me to try it, just give it a try. I hadn't played for over, for over a month, but finally got a unique idea for Savannah's build contest. Oh, that's cool. And remember too, she, um, she pushed the, uh, your time limit out to, uh, January 12th now. So she was like, you know, if you have holiday obligations and family and stuff, so she, um, pushed the due date to that, to have that turned in to the 12th of January. Oh, thank you, Jamie. No, I do not. I kind of just, um, I kind of lurk around in Drew's and Savannah's. But they have two really cool Discord communities. I've never had an issue um, with with anybody there. So two really, I, I really recommend. And Bold, uh, Bold just got one going. Um, I don't know if you've watched any of her stuff, but she just uh, started a, a Discord. I don't know if she just started it, but I just became a part of it not too long ago. Really cool little, really cool little Discord. Any ideas what animals will be in Glacier Ridge? Well, polar bears for sure, penguins. Um, I don't know. We'll just we'll just kind of see kind of how this progresses back through here, and kind of what kind of mood we're in, what kind of animals we think will fit. We'll just kind of. We'll kind of go on the fly here. Kind of like we usually do. You guys have any other um, suggestions for Jamie Wynn on uh, people you all watch?
Yeah, Bold does some insane stuff in insanely short amount of short amount of time. She is really she's on it. She when she has an idea that she's going for, she, it's on. She's guest built for me before too. Uh, P Blade as well, yeah. Uh, but he does, uh, yeah. I don't. I believe he is non. He he does videos on YouTube, uh, but does not stream on YouTube. I've been working on a park since October and still do not have a name for it. Uh oh. I like the guy who does October Lake Zoo. I'm not sure who uh, Silver Fox. Do you know who's doing? Or Cybris, does October Lake sound familiar to you? Wyatt Workshop, another really, really cool one. Could do a set of bathrooms right here, like right before you get, like right when you get into the land. Almost do like a, have like a Nordic vibe back here to this place, you know? Hypothetically, Jay. Gotcha. Really, really cool creator. Rudy Rincamo. Really, really... Um, cool, out-of-the-box type thinking with Rudy. Wix is a good streamer, though. He is only on Twitch. I don't think I've ever streamed on Twitch. But you know what? I'm thinking, guys, this is a... Hey, what's up, Chaos? What's up, Steph? I think... Uh, oh, you know what? Speaking of Wix, I just downloaded... Did you all see his, like, traveling caravan uh, salesman? Like, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. We might be able to just put it right here at this corner. Yeah, Jamie, I don't venture into Twitch too much. Um, I just kind of just stick with YouTube. I don't even really watch many Twitch streamers, like unless, um, you know, unless Frontier's streaming on it officially or um, something like that. But let me see if I can find Wix's new little little like m merchant wagon guy cuz it was awesome like i subbed to it immediately you know i think back in the day um drew actually streamed on twitch like really really consistently like that was twitch was drew's jam um, then he gave up streaming completely for a good while. And when he came back, uh, he came back to YouTube. Well, where in the world? I think he called it. Oh, there it is. The Traveling Merchant. Oh, yeah, there you go, Jamie. Look at this. He did a killer job. This guy could sit right here at this, could sit right here at this corner. I could fence him in and give him some. Or I wonder if we should make him like exclusive in here to Glacier Ridge. Maybe let's do that. Maybe you have to go into Glacier Ridge to get to him. Yeah, this blueprint is killer. Look at that. Look at all his stuff tied down to his little to his little wagon roof.
Wix got the Europe pack. There's the little candle. <laughs> that is awesome. Wix is really, really known too for his uh, insane Hobbit builds and Lord of the Rings style builds. Yeah, that's awesome. Really, really awesome work. And it's good to have this right here too, because then we won't have uh, like penguins, you know, kind of right here at the entrance, kind of, you know, people to be stopping. So we'll push it down through there a little bit. Hey, what's up, basic builder? Palsley's a decent YouTuber for Planet Zoo. Yeah, especially um, Palsley has some really, really helpful tutorials when you're just getting started too. Fun little chap. Love these aquatic pack lights. They just put off a really cool little glow. We can just think this is like maybe the, you know, a big, big, big expansion to Lost Creek. Like one of the newest, you know, one of the newest little areas. You know, that the concept art that I'm looking at to uh, to do here is, um, is the, from the zoo that's building it. It's like a $6 million, uh, it's like a $6 million penguin exhibit. Really, really awesome and quite expensive. I wish Zoo Knoxville, I really wish Zoo Knoxville would, um, would get a new uh, penguin exhibit and bring theirs back. They actually donated theirs to uh, Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies in Gatlinburg uh, because their little area is being taken over by, I think Big Al. Like, remember the, like, Knoxville has, like, a 119-year-old tortoise? I think he took over where their little spot was. But they only had, like, three or four. Donated them to Ripley's Aquarium, kind of why they, uh, why they reinvent their entrance area, you know? But maybe one day they'll bring them back. You know, with a with a brand new exhibit. I know the uh, the river otters. They're getting ready to come uh, down to their brand new exhibit.
Detroit Zoo's penguin. I've never looked up Detroit Zoo. I'll have to Google that. Hey, what's up, Katarina? Fort Worth Zoo has a really disappointing penguin exhibit. They're doing renovations, so I hope eventually they get a new one. Yeah, yeah, the little, the little, uh, the one in Zoo Knoxville was kind of pitiful looking too. It was, <laughs> God, I'm sure those little guys are having a little more fun in, uh, at Ripley's. Now this is a pretty good space. Hold up. Let me get up my... I just kind of want to show you all real quick what I want to try to do with this. But of course our hours will be a little more like polar themed. <laughs> but let me at least show you all kind of what the deal is or kind of what our inspiration is. Um, what did I do with it? Oh, okay, here it is. So this is kind of what we're thinking. Um, and you can see basically all of the guest viewing areas are behind glass. Uh, so I don't know... Like, we could definitely make something cool out of this. I like how the glass is separated with the little island. So we can definitely make that happen. But like I said, that, um, that exhibit that you're looking at, uh would be more for African penguin, penguins though, right? Like not necessarily for like the penguins we would, like Glacier Ridge would have, do you think? So we gotta kinda take that into account too. Hey, what's up, totally? You know, Kat, I have not even messed with the new restaurants yet. Yeah, Cody, that's what I'm thinking. Um, King Penguins. stay for a while now. We actually, you know, we've got this looking, it looks pretty decent even in the daytime. I mean, even in the, in the non-snow element, doesn't it? I think this can work. I think this can work. If we just put our brains behind it. Glacier Ridge. Yeah. 
you know, the thing about this is, too, um, we're probably going to be handing, like, what we get done here is probably the last we're going to get done on this for probably a, could be a week or more, because um, I'm going to send the file to Leaf after this, probably, af probably later on this evening. Um, it'll be going to Leaf. All right, let me get my little concept art pulled up here where I can see it. Go ahead and give this a try. 25 likes on the stream. Appreciate that, guys. Freaking awesome. kind of starts out with a smaller little viewing area. Kind of right there. And then this part, this will be behind the little island that's going to stick out. And this is a pretty big, pretty big viewing area right here. Maybe even a little bit bigger than that. Then it kind of bends back over here to another little island piece. This will be hidden. And there's one more little viewing section kind of on an angle right here. And then it's kind of all just backstage stuff kind of up this way. But we'll hide all of this too. And then of course we gotta, we'll hide the part where he, where they bring the little penguins in. The only thing about Planet Zoo, like Planet Coaster, it's very adaptable. You can use that same rock work in the picture, but just make it with the Arctic rocks. Yep, exactly. Okay, this is going to have to be up on a little bit higher plane here. We can get our water in here. Actually, this right here has a looks like a another little pool over here and they actually even have a little bridge that's cool like a little rock bridge they're walking across And then, you know, we could probably do, I could have like the, when the path shoots off over here, I could have like a little incline and they could even look, because it looks like the guests have some kind of little view over here that kind of bring them eye level with the, uh, with the rock, with the rock work up there. Kind of looks like that. And this is almost like a little shallow pond area.
Hey, what's up, Plastic Swans? Check this out. We're making Glacier Ridge in Lost Creek. Yeah, I definitely want to get that test penguin in here, too, to make sure. What do you guys think about that water height? Should we... Should it be a little deeper or I think that'll work. I mean, you know, should we try to make it where it's a little higher up on the glass? I mean, stopping me from bringing that up higher this probably this this edge raise the fence maybe before we try that and then okay then I see then we can bring it back down once we get that higher level We need to bring this up anyway so the keeper could drop them in here. And we, like you said, we'll just we'll bring the glass part back down. All right, now let's see how high up we can go with this. Hopefully right up to the edge of this guy. Hey, Tiago, what's up, buddy?
Oh, we were talking about getting the... Better get a little test penguin in here. Just to make sure we can dive. Zoo path gonna path. Planet Zoo path is gonna path on you. Come on, little fella. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> show us you can show us you can deep dive. Deep dive, deep dive, deep dive. Here they come. Like surely that has to be deep. <laughs> that has to be deep enough, right? guys none of them are going under yet because yeah now the requirements only two meters think I think I'm gonna have to go a little deeper here ah you're right underwater feeder okay 
Yeah, uh, Basic Builder, that's what Silver Fox was asking. Are they still bugged? Wonder if it has to be a certain width as well. I have some where they refuse to deep dive at all. Could be. Let's see if we put this feeder in. Okay, average water depth, Come on, somebody. Just dive for us a little bit and we will give you an awesome home. Hmm, I think we gotta go a little deeper. They only have 88%. So may have to go a little deeper. Not much, but a little bit. All right, here comes the fish. But I don't know if they'll do it because that is not in the green. All right, let's try to go a little deeper. I mean, we don't want to go too crazy, but obviously this that wasn't enough. We could hide that with a rock or something. Okay, 100%. Let's see. Of course, they might not do it till the, they may not do it till the fish pop up, but. <laughs> they can jump right out of there, can't they? There we go. We're good. We're good. We can start designing now. They'll do it. Gorgeous animation, isn't it? Now, why can't they just let let birds do that for us? Just faster. <laughs> like, it's like, okay, Frontier, you figured out how to make them do it underwater. Just raise that up about four meters and bam, we have birds. And speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's so easy. It's so easy. That's why I've created my own games, right?
bears can deep dive along with tigers. That's cool. You know what, though? The thing about it is, guys, I, I might design this with the aquatic rock just because, yeah, the entrance looks great, but this kind of looks, I don't know, maybe I need to let the design play out a little bit. Um, but that's, it's a little jarring. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do the fake rock and not do the snow rock here, or? What is your all's professional opinion? Fake rocks? Fake rocks. I suggest using the tundra rocks with the snow rocks as accents. That'd be a good idea too. Water's too bright. What do you think? It looks better like that? I like that hue. More like that, maybe? That looks cool. That looks cold. <laughs> that looks like some cold, cold water. Look how blue it is. Oh, it's already dance break time. You guys dance and I'll work through the break. Dance break.
There we go. Got you a little dance break in. What's up, Jake? You know what, Jake? I haven't actually tried it yet. I can't even tell you. I have not uh, technically tried the restaurants yet. have not tried your restaurants yet. Yeah, that's a good suggestion, Claire. Jake, have you seen, uh, are the guests complaining about anything particular or? Too, guys, uh, don't forget, if you're not completely slammed on Monday, that is my holiday uh, day off of work, so we may get in here and stream Monday morning. to stream a little bit on Monday for you. Where do you find all the concept art? I usually just Google or Pinterest. Pinterest has got some good ones. If you all go there and just type in zoo concept art, there's a bunch that pops up.
Oh, dang, that's cool, Plastic Swan. So you got a couple weeks off. Very cool. Very, very cool. Man, I think you all are right about the fake rock. This is going to look a lot better than what I was originally going to try with the with the snow. I think it's going to look a lot better. Harry Potter I read an article today that um, they think Warner Brothers is about to, um, once Christmas is over, is going to release that uh, Hogwarts Legacy trailer, that second trailer, may even show some gameplay. We'll get that goofy staff path worked out here in a little bit, too. I just kind of wanted to see if I can get the general layout of this going. Yeah, if it doesn't get delayed again, they're claiming If you guys flip over these gorilla or uh, rhino wall decoration pieces, they make really good, believable looking like little concrete slabs.
pretty good little viewing spot right there. Let's see if I can kind of try to clean up this edge a little. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we can at least try to get it under the concrete. Yes, that'll work. Yeah, daddy. That'll work. Got to get some more penguins in there. Just give me GTA 6 and Red Dead 3 and I'll be a happy man for a while. Red Dead 3, that may come by like 2030. <laughs> we may get Red Dead 3 before we get GTA 6. GTA 6 would make me happy. That would be cool. Need Planet Coaster 2 right now. Oh, you got that right, Plastic Swans. Um, Silver Fox tells me that all the time. Like if we're just riding around in Red Dead Redemption 2, um, Silver Fox is like, man, we could build that in Planet Zoo. We definitely take inspiration from Red Dead. Especially when you know me when I'm doing these like rustic builds. I don't know if that upper viewing deck will work, but we may give it a try later. Hey, what's up, Rob? I tell you what, the only thing I'm not too good at, and we could we could stretch it here a little bit because of the like the biome that we're in, 
but um, not designing with any foliage, like, kills me. <laughs> Lunch time. So we may have to put a little bit of foliage in here. My brain can't handle not seeing any green. <laughs> Is he swimming in the dirt? He may have been. <laughs> <laughs> Red Dead 3? Nah, Claire, we was just like wondering if there'll be a Red Dead 3 or when that would ever come out. Hey, what's up, Marco? Greetings from Ireland. I can get the colors on the changed a little bit. This could look pretty cool mixed in with my stuff. Or even change my stuff to this color. What's up, Lars? C6, C6, C6. Okay. I 
kind of like their color a little more than mine. Looks a little more, looks a little more Arctic. Name the penguins from the penguins from Madagascar. Oh, Jake, it's, uh, it's back here. See? Kind of over off to your left between this gap. So this is going to be Glacier Ridge back here. left a couple little guys out. I wonder if Savannah's sunshade that I stole from Leaf would look good like over here too. It's pretty big though. Don't forget the sea lions, Estan. Oh, I know. We're definitely going to get some sea lions in here. Of course, Leaf was using this shade for his polar bears, I believe. I think he he was using the shade his shade for the penguins, but it was it was a smaller version, I thought. Still looks pretty cool though. Yeah, I will not, definitely not forget your sea lions. Bing. What do you guys think about the shade? Too big or looks cool or should we go smaller over here or something? Give them like three smaller shades? I think that looks pretty cool, honestly. Kind of still lets enough of the sun in to give that really cool blue pop, but kind of shades them like if they're back here just hanging out. Might replay it during my two weeks off if I get a chance. Now, Claire, that would be a fun two-week-off playthrough. Just try to uh, 
try to re-go through Red Dead. You know, I technically never finished it. I never finished the story, never beat it. Freaking fun game, though. Oh, you've not started the story mode yet? You know, I, I've only played um, online like once and I got like waxed. <laughs> like those guys on there, they show no mercy. <laughs> Me and Claire get on there and start a posse. For the sea lions, give them a nice coastal habitat. That'd be cool. Marble, you finished it twice. Did you enjoy it both times? That just seemed like that was just like a masterpiece of a game. Loved it. I remember when that first came out, I didn't even put YouTube videos out. Like, I would literally come home from work, grab something to eat, and then I was on Red Dead. Still didn't finish it. <laughs> this here's the old daddy posse. I mainly play it to hunt now, but thinking about playing story again. Yeah, I need to get around to finishing that one of these years. One of these years, guys. There's always so, so many games and not enough time.
Just not enough time, guys. But I was telling Savannah and Drew, um, I, uh, I am just really enjoying, like, the variety of content that I feel I can put out now. It's like everything doesn't have to be Planet Zoo, and you guys still, and random people out there, still enjoy it. Like, I do time lapses now. I just uploaded a Dollywood video. It's like I don't feel the need to be like, oh my god, it, it, I have to upload some Planet Zoo or nobody's going to watch it. And even if nobody does watch it, I still don't feel like that type of weird pressure anymore. Like, it, I have to upload Planet Zoo. That's all anybody wants. Like, I 100% don't feel like that anymore. Like, I just, I literally upload just kind of what I feel like nowadays. Really fun feeling. It's just like, I told Drew and Savannah, it's like, I want people to not just come for the, I want people to come to the channel for S-Dan. Like, this is the S-Dan experience, not like, just the Planet Zoo experience or Planet Coaster or, you know, it's like, that's kind of what the deal is. It's kind of what I'm going for. swans and then of course you know you attract more people that way like people that may never you know even bat an eye at planet zoo see me playing you know whatever red you know red dead redemption 2 see me playing that and they're like oh, okay well, you know who's this guy Just like they say, diversify your, <laughs> diversify your financial portfolio, diversify your content portfolio. Don't buy that. That's like the that's like the one of the biggest. If people ask me, like in content creation, like what is one of the biggest things that I can uh, recommend? One of my biggest tips: do not box yourself in with one game or one studio diversify yourself and I'll tell you all this too um, since I started because um, you know I've kind of been kind of you know been trying different things and you know throwing different things up and following different games like ever since I did that like I started doing that just maybe a couple weeks ago like with farm folks and covering paralives you guys wouldn't believe like my inbox has just exploded with new like just you know random game companies and devs like asking me if I'll check out their game or if I want a key to show their game off and when you're just doing, you know, one game, that kind of stops. That you know, because I mean, the, the community managers and stuff are 
the PR teams, they don't just randomly, you know, some of them do, but not everybody just randomly emails people. They go and look at your channel. And if they go and look and they're like, okay, well, he's only, he's only up, he's only uploaded Planet Zoo videos for like the last seven months. They know that you're not going to play their game. It's, you know, it's so... But when they go to your channel and they're like, okay, this guy's covering a farm simulator. He's covering a new Sims type game. Um, you know, he's doing Planet Zoo. There's some Planet Coaster. They, they feel more comfortable, you know, reaching out. I'm really happy with kind of how the start of this turned out. Especially, like I said, with about to um, to hand it over to Leaf. Wonder what we can put over here. Yeah, thanks, Claire. Zoo isn't going to be around forever. If Planko 2 isn't announced, then there'll be a hole soon. Yep. A lot of us are waiting for that. For that Planko 2, that, that tweet, whatever. You know, I'm kind of wondering if they'll do it like Jurassic World Evolution did, where um, the, uh, the, the, the original... I'm sure they will. The original Planet Coaster Twitter will just start tweeting the Planet Coaster 2 stuff. Oh yeah, Breakwaters. I covered that a little bit too. I haven't played that since before Early Access. This is looking pretty sweet. I kind of want another, I think it'd be cool to have like another, that bridge piece really is what kind of makes this whole scene. little kids and stuff can get pictures in front of the penguins. I'm waiting for a simple tweet with the Planko theme, a roller coaster silhouette, and then coming 2022 written at the end. <laughs> now that would be mighty awesome. I guess it's pretty, do you think it's safe to say at this point any kind of announcements or anything will not happen until 2022 now? Cause you know they're probably all like they're we're gonna get the we're gonna get the tweet soon that's that says um, you know everybody's go everybody's going home the studio is you know we'll be back on January twelfth or you know however long they they're gone usually 
And I think January, it's going to be on. Like, I think a lot of these gaming companies are going to, they're going to want to get people geared up for 2022. So I think January gets here. These gaming companies are going to start going crazy with announcements and gameplay trailers and, you know. I just hope we don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I want an announcement either way, but I just hope we don't get like a, uh, a Planet Coaster 2 announcement and then it says like November 2022, you know? <laughs> It's like, no. Don't make us wait until the fall. Don't do this to us. I think they'll do the same as Planet Zoo. They'll announce final DLC for Planet Zoo with announcement for Planet Coaster 2. Man, what a fun little first habitat. I'm trying to think of what some of the things that Leaf did when he was showing me when he was showing me his new zoo or the zoo that's about to the zoo that's finishing up. I want to say he dressed up the top of his, like these with wood. See you, basic. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Fun, fun new area. Glad we tried that. Yeah, I've got to kind of troll around and get some Lost Creek snow shots. Some of these are awesome, aren't they? Like, look at Beaver Brothers. Our poor little meer meerkats, they don't know what to think, but... Or our gators, most likely.
All right, guys. Well, I think we've reached a good stopping point. It's four o'clock. I'm gonna go grab something to eat, jump in the shower, and uh, relax a little bit before Drew and Savannah bug me to come do a voiceover for something weird Drew's working on. But, so anyways, guys, yeah, jump on uh, Instagram and Twitter when you leave out of here. I'm going to put some snowy pictures on there, and you guys can say you were here when we built this. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>